In this video I want to show you how to cut up and key this dog but instead of using the ball tool add-on as I did in the previous video I want to use just the boolean modifiers. Okay we we'll start with this dog which is an imported STL. One thing to note before starting this is you have to apply your rotation and scale to the object. So you do that by selecting your model, going into object, apply rotation and scale. It doesn't hurt to have your origin point in the middle of your model either. You can do that by object, set origin, origin to geometry. And we add a plane. Scale it up, rotate it, and I'll just move it into position. Okay, that looks okay. Now we have to give the plane some thickness for this to work. So I will add the solidify modifier. Now this is by default 0 0.01 whatever your units are thick and that could be a bit too thick for 3D printing. It will take too much out of the model. So I'm going to make this as small as I can get away with. There are, we have a very thin plane. Now mine is flashing red because I have my face orientation set to on and this is so thin that you can see the inside through the outside, but that's okay. Now we apply the solidify modifier, select the model, and we'll add our boolean, which is here. We set it to difference and select the plane. Now we apply the boolean as well. At this point you can turn the plane off, it will make it easier. You can see here there's a very thin line in your model but there is still only one object. So now we have to separate these two parts. So go into edit mode and make sure that nothing is selected. Alt and A will unselect everything. Now all you need to do is hover your mouse over one of the parts, let's say here, and press L. And that has now selected everything up until this cut we made. Now press P, selection, and then we go back into object mode we now have two objects and this one you can grab as you can see now I'm going to rename these objects just to make it easier for the rest of this tutorial I'll call this one front and the other one back not very exciting I know okay now we want to put in the keying object. I'll use a cube as it's most simple. First of all we'll turn off one half of the model, the front half. Now I'll put the 3D cursor somewhere in the center of this with shift and right click and add a cube. Now I'll scale this up to something that looks sensible. Well, it's actually a bit big but it'll do. And then we select the model, add a boolean, change this to union, and with this select the cube. Apply it. And if I actually turn off the cube now, you'll see that this object now has a key. Let's turn back on the cube because we'll need it turn the back of the model off and turn the front on. This is still the same cube but we don't want the hole it makes to be exactly the same size as the key we made in the other part of the model otherwise it won't fit. So let's increase the size of this a little bit. The easiest way to do this 
is simply by changing these. Now I will change it to 9.6 on the X, Y and Z. One thing to bear in mind is if we increase the X, Y and Z dimension by 0.2 as I did in this case, that 0.2 is an increase in scale from the center of the object which is where your origin is. So you really get 0.1 on this side and 0.1 on that side, same up here and down there, which may not be enough. It may be enough. It's something that you have to experiment with yourself. Okay, so we have the cube and we have it increased in size. All we need to do now is select the front part of the model, add a boolean, and we keep it on difference, select the cube again, apply it, turn the cube off, and there you have it. If we turn the back of the model back on, there you go. Now in theory, if we put the X-ray mode on, we should be able to zoom in. And if you look very carefully at the right angle, you should see that there is a gap between one part of the model and the next. So there you go. That's how you do cutting and keying with booleans. It's simple. If you want to do a more organic cut, it works in exactly the same way, except you just need to make your organic cutting tool. There are plenty of ways of creating a cutting tool. Uh, it's quite common to create a circle and move it around until it's in the right place, but I'm going to try something different on this one. I'll move the 3D cursor to approximately where I want to cut the leg off. And I'm going to add a single vertex here. The way you make a single vertex is to basically add anything. In this case, I'll do a cube. Add mesh cube. Go into edit mode. And with all the points selected, press M, merge at center. There you go. One vertex. Now, if we go back into object mode, we can add a shrink wrap modifier to this single vertex and we'll use the dog as the shrink wrap target. Let's select the dog here and this will now snap to the dog. Make a little offset actually, it just makes it a bit easier. Okay, we should now go into edit mode. Well, still our single vertex selected. Turn on snapping to face. And now, with this single object, we can extrude it around our dog. Pretty rough. When we get to the end, we join the two points together with F. I'll just make sure that actually did happen by turning off the dog. Yeah, you can see it happened. So let's apply this shrink wrap modifier and turn off the dog for the moment. That's our starting shape. We'll just have a look at it in edit mode. Looks fine. Now turn the dog back on. Select all the points of your cutting tool. Extrude as scale. I have noticed that doing it this way, the normals on the last part are different from this part, but that's okay. Just select them all. Go to face mode, A, recalculate outside. They're all the same way around now. That's okay. Now we need to turn the dog off for a moment. 
select the inner loop here, extrude scale, extrude scale, extrude scale, extrude scale, extrude don't scale, but instead M merge at center. Probably a good idea to turn snapping off here. So that we now have the cutting plane. You can add a subdivision surface modifier here if you want it to look smoother. But you don't have to. I'll apply that by going into object mode, press apply. Then like in the previous example, we also have to give this some thickness. So a solidify modifier, make this really small. And we're basically in the same place as we were before. Apply the solidifier. Turn the dog bang on. Select the dog. Add a boolean. Use the pipette to select the cube. Apply the boolean. Turn our cutting tool off. Select the dog. Go into edit mode. Make sure you deselect everything. Alt A. Hover the mouse over the leg in this case. Press L. P. Selection. We now have two objects as you can see over here. Go to object mode. Grab that. And then you can add a key in exactly the same way as we did with the other one. I'll just quickly do that. I'll just actually show you a little technique here of turning X-ray mode on so you can see that you have the cube where you want it to be. You might want it a bit bigger. And rotated in this case, I think. That should be okay. There you go. And there you go. In X-ray mode, you can see that we have, this is the cube stuck in the leg, and this is the hole for the dog. And there's a very small gap around. So that's it. Simple.